Wondering why I'm dancing. <laughs> There's good news, good news, good news. Well, my name is Fonon Shaw Odutai OABC, and I welcome you to today's production. Today, we are going to be talking about medicated soap. How do we produce our medicated soap? From the word medicated, I assume you understand that we are talking about curative. What that means is that if there's anything maybe on the skin, on the body, or we're trying to even solve some of the issues on clothes or other surfaces, this soap will be a good idea. So come along as we go into this journey. However, the good news I was talking about is that after this series of liquid soap, we'll be going into the series of bath soap. I have received so many messages, so many inquiries. I've asked, uh, people have asked me about bath soap. Now, the good news, we are going into the series of bath soap. So for those of you that have been waiting and coming along with me, thinking about your questions and your inquiry about bath soap, yes, welcome on board because very soon we are going to be going into the series of the bath soap. Are you a subscriber or you are there watching me right now, you just bump into this channel and you have not subscribed, can you subscribe to this channel? Because there are so many goodies that you are going to meet alongside with watching this video as you go along with us. So come along with me as we go into the medicated soap. As usual, we have started putting the texapon inside the container. Most of the time, um, this is usually my uh, first bet. Apart from the soda ash that I like to soak on time. Soaking the soda ash on time can reduce so many things. It can help me to reduce my time of waiting. That period that I'll be adding the soda ash. It can also help me to reduce the reaction that will occur when the production is going on however in some cases i'll first of all put text up on just like i did and then my on. you can see i just talked about soda ash i'm soaking my soda ash now so i'm making this video fast because i've done this process over and over if you have not watched any of the multi-purpose liquid soap the transparent liquid soap the liquid soap videos then you should please watch it this is caustic soda i'm dissolving the caustic soda inside water half liter of water so sometimes i decide to put these things inside nylon so that you it will look as if the viewer is the one producing it this is stpp i just finished putting stpp this is stpp i'm putting inside the container and i'm dissolving it i think i didn't have enough containers that is why i'm even using my measurement cup to do this and this is my sls you know sls usually look like rice you can see it looks exactly like rice. If you avoid the multipurpose liquid soap, I explained all this thing one by one, telling you that I dissolved the SLS with half liter of water, my caustic soda, my STPP, all were dissolved with half liter of water. So depending on what I'm producing, that will be what I will use to dissolve my soda ash. This production that I'm doing now is for between 10 and 15 liters. So you can see, I'm trying to show you how many liters I've measured so that I can use it as the start of my production. This is natural so. I'm pouring in natural so into the water. You pour it into the water and use your hand to do this. Please, after natural so, you can't put in your hand any longer. Despite the fact that I'm putting on a glove. This natural so stage is the only part that I'm allowed to put my hand. So please take notes. Don't put your hand when you have started adding other things until the soap is done. You don't just put your hand. You can see me uh, stirring the SLS again. You know, this production is actually done in a rush, but you can see me stirring the SLS again. Now I'm adding in my sulfonic acid. I'm doing this in a very fast way because I believe if you are watching this video, you must have watched multipurpose liquid soap that is well detailed. But because this is a medicated um, liquid soap, I'm just going to explain how we are going to turn the liquid soap into a medicated one. And that is why this particular um, series of um, adding this and that, adding the water into water, like I explained in the multipurpose soap, I'm trying to make it fast. I decided to rinse my sulfonic, rinse out everything. I poured in my caustic soda inside that bowl, then I poured it into the production bowl so that everything inside the bowl will be, will be everything will, will be inside. You know, sorry about that. There are some things I'm trying to do that uh, may not be so clear. I'm adding in this into the, that's my soda ash. 
So I poured part of my soda ash into that sulfonic bowl just to make sure that I have completely rinsed out the sulfonic and the texapon. For your information, for those of us that are not aware, sulfonic acid and texapon serve as a major foaming agent in this soup. So when I use a container to dissolve my sulfonic and texapon, I try my best to rinse everything off. So after pouring the sulfonic acid, I poured in the caustic soda inside that bowl. I didn't pour the caustic soda inside the sulfonic acid and the texapon. I emptied the bowl, then I poured in the fermented caustic so that inside this sulfonic acid bowl, then I use the tonic stick to, to stir it and stir it and make sure that all the leftover in the sulfonic acid bowl were dissolved. Then I poured it as my caustic soda inside the soap. Thereafter, I still poured part of my soaked soda ash. You saw me when I was soaking the soda ash. That was the second thing I did. I still poured part of the soaked soda ash into this green bowl because this green bowl was what I used to soak my texapon and my sulfonic so you can see now you can see i'm repeating the same thing i'm pouring in my soda ash into this bowl i'm showing you the soda ash so definitely there will be no drop there will be no single sulfonic or text up on that will be remaining inside that bowl i'm using the sieve i've not done this in some of the videos except that transparent video please you can use sieve sometimes the soda ash has sediments it has sand it has some black black things so i decided to use sieve you can see me pouring in the sieve so i now poured in the dirt back inside that cup so you have to make sure that you are making a clean production you cannot go and buy all this soap pasta that you start seeing dirt make sure that your own production too is as clean now i'm adding in the sls if you have if you can see there's dirt inside that one too i'm sieving it if you have watched the antiseptic soap you will see that i added the sls after adding the pine oil but now this is my foaming booster i'm adding in my foaming booster please don't mind my turning stick the turning stick is always in use so it may not be looking branded um sometimes if i'm not producing and uh, making the production at the store i may be having um some of these things um maybe spatula or some other things at my disposal but if i'm making the production at the store it may not be that easy now you can see now I'm putting in texapon. I added texapon into this bigger container. Then I'm adding in my fenno. You'll be seeing fenno on the screen. I added fenno into that bowl. You cannot add your uh, fenno. Fenno is the major medicated content we are using. You cannot add it directly. So after breaking this fenno, I'm adding it into a little portion of the soap. If you have watched the antiseptic soap, I scooped a little portion of the liquid soap into a smaller container. This smaller container you can see now. Then after doing that, I added the fermented fennel. Fennel comes in white or in black. The particular one that I used in this production is the black one. So you can see I added more soap into the fennel because I could see the reaction. The reaction was tense. Then after that, I'm adding the, the already mixed portion of soap with fennel. I'm adding it into my production i hope you can see that this is the major part of this video we are making medicated liquid soap now this medicated liquid soap can be used for rashes my fennel solution is not yet done i'm trying to sieve in the remaining one if you have particles in it please sieve it out so that you are not going to be having particles in your soap the soap must be clear the soap must be smooth it must not have particles or rough rough uh, let me say roughs so make sure that you sieve out anything that will give you any rough solution now the medicated soap will be very good for rashes the antiseptic soap is actually for prevention medicated soap is for cure those people that are battling with um those people that are battling with um, chicken pox, they are battling with measles, those people that are having a uh, body skin reaction, I mean skin reaction, maybe a rashes, maybe something that is coming from within and coming out on your skin. I'm not talking about skin reaction that has come because of cream. Please don't use medicated soap on a burnt skin or on a skin that has been damaged because of skin, uh, of cream. But this particular medicated soap is for cure. Those people that are having any rashes on their body, any impediments, all those negative things, you can see that I'm adding in the remaining portion of my um, fennel that I added. That is what I'm adding now. You can see. Now, the other part that I poured earlier was a bit too little lighter. That is the, the uh, portion on top. By the time I sieved in everything inside that bowl and I poured it inside the container, the soap was this. Now, I'm adding in 
this you know perfume in pedicated soap is optional so you can decide to break your perfume before you pour when i say break you have to add exactly to the perfume or the fragrance or the essential oil you are adding as soon as you have done that it will be able to give you a clear solution if you add some perfume some of those perfume perfume talks another day if you add some perfumes to your soap directly the soap will just turn white it will just turn cloudy it will react so much that you will not even like it so i'm rinsing in that cup you should get used to that i'm trying to pour in water or soap into the cup that i use so that we rinse out all the chemicals and be sure that all is well thank you for watching this video please make the practical